Hi, today we're going to be taking a look at an all new 2020 Cannondale Super 6 EVO disc. So this is the all new 2020 Super 6 EVO disc. Uh, this bike is uh, size 54 with uh, 105 hydraulic disc brakes. Okay, so the whole group set is Shimano 105 except for the crank which is uh, Cannondale specific. In 2019, Cannondale refreshed their Super 6 EVO design. Gone away is the boxy tube shapes. Instead, we get this new aerodynamically optimized bike. As you can see with the new drop seat stay design that you also see on many other popular bikes these days. According to Cannondale, uh, this new bike is 30% faster than the previous model, which equates to around 30 watts faster going at 48 kilometers per hour. One thing that I really like about this bike is the design. Um, a lot of bikes actually have their logos over here, but on this Cannondale Super 6 EVO, you'll notice that there's not a lot of logos around. In fact, you can't even see that there's a Super 6 logo around. Um, Kendall chose to only have a small logo on the top tube and their Super 6 EVO sign is actually on the top so it's super sleek, really love the design. One thing you'll also notice is the wheels on it. Okay, These wheels are standard on the high mod versions. They are the not 45s carbon clinchers. I personally think that these wheels also look really sleek with its minimalistic design. Together I feel like the whole bike is very sleek, very minimalistic so that's something that I really like. This being the standard version, it comes with normal alloy wheels. But I personally think due to the wheel design and the bike as a whole, I feel like all Super 6s should come with these Not 45 wheels. Don't you think so? So there are a few details that I want to go over for this bike. For one, the seat post, which I am surprised is actually alloy. Usually most carbon bikes come with carbon seat posts. But for this one, um, Carbon seat posts are only um, standard on the high mod versions. The standard version like this one here comes with alloy seat posts, which I find is a little bit weird, but it doesn't really affect performance, maybe adds a little bit of weight. Another thing you'll notice in the cockpit is that these spacers are aerodynamically optimized um, and they also have a turn lock. So what that means is um, these, this is the max range that you're able to turn. So um, it kind of they'll place that there to help with the cable so that they don't stretch or break. But I personally feel um, it shouldn't affect riding that much. So I'm going to let my friend Gary, um, who is the owner of this bike, come and give us his thoughts and opinions on this bike. Hey, so I've been riding this bike for about a month now and I find that it's fairly light, fairly stiff and it's just a great bike all around. So for living in Vancouver, I find that a lot of Strava segments are hill climbs. So it's a great climbing bike, it's good on the flats and it climbs very well. This year I'm planning to join crit racing and I think this bike will do well at accelerating out of corners and just holding speed in general compared to the previous generation. For the bike choices I had this year, I was either going to go with the Ally Sprint, which is more of a crit bike, or the Super 6 EVO. And why I chose this Super 6 EVO was I just found it was a bit more comfortable, just it was more versatile and it just suited me better than the Ally Sprint. Overall, I would recommend this bike to beginner racers or even experienced racers. It's just fairly good at climbing, it's very punchy, it's fast at accelerating, and is able to keep up speed fairly well. So there you have it, the all new 2020 Cannondale Super 6 EVO disc. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you, there's any other bikes you would like to see next, let me know in the comment section below.